All right, friends, uh, today we're with the district attorney of Harris County, Houston, nation's fourth largest city. Some say it's uh, maybe the third now. Chicago's losing ground to us. But we're with district attorney Kim Ogg. Thank you for being with us. It's great to see you again. Normally, criminal background is important when it comes to violence and being a predictor of future violence. But when it comes to possessing drugs, regardless of your background, when it's weed, legal in many states, medically legal in a majority of states, it had to be equally applied, this offer of non-arrest. All people have to do is take a class. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good program. I can't legalize marijuana. I can't even decriminalize it. But by working with the cops, we came to an agreement. We have more important things to do. We have to stop violent crime. And look at what fentanyl has done. And what I do want to mention is that we do see an increased connection between the manufacture and, uh, and transportation and, and sale of fentanyl along with human trafficking. So you're seeing people and that deadly drug transported by the same cartels and same organized crime groups. And Houston's a major stopping point, uh, distribution center, air traffic control for sending it out to the rest of the country. We've got to get on top of that. Fentanyl's killing the hell out of Houstonians, out of Texans, and out of Americans. We really believe in treatment for drug addiction. I think it was best handled by the healthcare system, not by the criminal justice system. I'm working right now with the director of probation and with some other groups to talk about directing all of our drug cases, which need to be reduced in this county so we can work on violent crime, but handling all of them through a treatment plan and as little court supervision as necessary, once again to direct more of our court's resources to violent criminals. That's what people care about, Dean. They want to be safe in their grocery store and in their house, yeah. not whether you're smoking a joint or whether somebody's got um, LSD in their pocket. I, I'm not for LSD or hard drugs, and I think the legalization would have to include a ton of regulation. Education. You know, drug dealing, like all entrepreneurship, is just uh, the black market instead of uh, our world market, and the imagination is limitless. So, of course, they're in the <laughs> suburbs. Of course, they're in our urban areas. Of course, they're in our rural areas. People uh, will find a way to make this happen for profit. It's part of why your work, I think, is important. Regulation is, uh, I think, an answer. And I really hope legislators consider that angle as they go to work on our drug laws in the future. You know, I've supported this at the legislature, mm -hmm. and I think it's important that leadership take a stand. So I encourage other elected officials to talk to you and with you, Dean. It's always good to talk to your audience. Let them know in Houston we have a very reasonable approach to marijuana. It applies to anybody, regardless of their position in life or even with criminal justice history, because uh, we don't want disparate treatment of one race over another. And uh, we've seen a lot of that in drug enforcement. I'm out to end it. We want to stop the deadly flow of drugs, and we definitely want to stop the trafficking of human beings. And so I'm against organized crime. That's why I was the city's first anti-gang director. Still against it. I think uh, there's better ways of handling this area of criminal justice. Leave us to rape, murder, and robbery, the things we all agree are wrong. Yeah. Dean, I want you to know we're doing our best to keep everybody safe. I don't think the focus is on the individual user here in Houston. That's the impression I get from other leaders about drug enforcement. That's good news. That's a good common sense approach to dealing with what the rest of the taxpayers want us to do, violent crime. You tickled me, Dean, because <laughs> you're a committed, <coughs> purposeful journalist and activist, and our democracy needs it. I, I like you, and I like your work, thank and I always appreciate being on your show. Well, Kim Ogg, thank you so much. Dean, always my pleasure. <laughs> thank you for joining us for this great discussion with the District Attorney of Houston-Harris County, Kim Ogg. 
I am Dean Becker, the Reverend Most High, saying, Because of prohibition, you do not know what's in that bag. Please be careful.